damn, it's like, it just, let's just do a recap real quick. So, my last video was 36 days ago. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, 36 days, I don't even remember like that. Cause I, I remember working for the most part. And I think that's what it is. And I, my mind, like, when you're working in the shop, you get a little institutionalized. Like, you just don't, you lose track of time. Real easy. It's real easy to lose track of time when you're a mechanic. So that's how I feel about things. Everything is just a blur for me. Everything matched together. Everything happened. And I don't have, I got small recollection, but for the most part, it just seemed like I've been slave to the wrench. So this video, I'm gonna be talking about my top five auto repair stores. Now, it could be like local. It could be something you found on you, you go to online, whatever, that's your parts vendor. All right, so I guess I'm at the tow booth and it's a little bit quiet now, no road noise, so I'm good. I guess the first one I will be picking is uh, on my on my list to go, probably because I got an account with these, this place too. Um, AutoZone, I definitely get parts from AutoZone and if people like, people don't, they might get AutoZone like a bad rap. That's because you probably don't know them and you probably don't know what products they can get. Everybody like so hooked on to the to the door last or the value craft brands, but you gotta understand, yeah, that's in store brands. But these places do got, they do get other parts from like other vendors and stuff. And I've seen parts that it, that's one brand, but it was stamped under door last. So don't sleep on door last or value craft. And you gotta understand, all these parts a damn near remanufacture. Could have been once upon a time ago it was OEM, but it got remanufactured probably like two, three times already. They just stamped it. <clears throat> Losing my voice, sorry. They stamp it what they want to stamp it as. And when you can buy licenses and all of that stuff, you Gucci. Hold on, I gotta uh <clears throat> pay this toll. I ain't turning the camera off, so if he see, he see if he don't, he don't. Come on, man, I can't speak to you like that. You can't speak to me you like that? Me? You got the window all up. They say you read lips, man. Read lips. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, how you doing? All right. Uh-huh. All right, keep the change. Right. <laughs> Not playing with you. I Have a good one. <laughs> like some people uh, at the uh, at the toll booth, hey, I'll, I'll try to chop it up with whoever this you see the same face all the time. It don't matter you see the same face all the time. It's just, I like to have motherfuckers roll with this shit. That's just how I am. So let's get back to the video or whatever. So my second uh, place I get parts from, this is an online store. I use partsgeek.com. Let me say it again so you can understand because the name sound kind of weird. Partsgeek.com. I wonder what they was thinking when they all sat down. I was like, yeah, or whoever created it was like, yeah, let me put parts and geek together in the same sentence or same syllable or whatever you was thinking at the time. You structured the sentence. You structured the words. Parts geek is weird. Whatever. I like the website. The website cool. Um, I like how the the the, the parts catalog is like laid out on there. That's probably like my number one thing about the website it's just easy to like navigate through but definitely parts geek if i ain't getting parts from auto zone parts geek and then parts geek i'm in over in the metro the philly metropolitan area if you don't know what a metropolitan area is then just don't worry about it you're just slightly uneducated i guess it is what it is but a metropolitan area in the philadelphia metropolitan area uh parts geek they're warehouse, they don't do walk-ins. You can't just walk in like a regular part store. You gotta order, so you could be living around the corner. You still gotta order, no pickups. At least that's what it says on the website. So, they stationed over in uh, New Jersey. They were swerving on me. They stationed over in like New Jersey. So that's right, like right over the bridge and some minutes from me, whatever. It is what it is. Shipping don't ever take long for me. It could be like two to three days and um, pay attention on the website it on the parts itself it'll state what where like catalog or like warehouse it could be like a it could be like b or c or d or e or f or h or whatever if you got a or b i always go with the ones that are like warehouse a and b that means it ain't too 
far and you can get it faster on shipping but the catalog the the parts is extensive it's broken down in details you can't really like mess up and it's like semi dummy proof i mean you can order the wrong parts if you don't read right but for the most part i think that the site is easy to navigate the prices they be saying they do like 80 percent off they ain't lying on my parts account that I get on, like my at my auto zone or whatever, um, basically, like my own parts account, you know, I get a nice discount or whatever. Cool. Parts geek, it's similar. The prices are like similar. A lot of people don't want to waste shipping. They want their car on the road, so that's why people will be paying a lot of money for these parts or whatever. What it comes down to it. It's either you can wait or you don't want to wait. I could wait. It is what it is. I like to save money. You want to save money? Cool. So, partsgeek.com. Check them out. Trust the site. Check their security certification at the bottom of the page. I recommend them. So, another one that's real similar to like Parts Geek, and I know there are other, um, there are, there's a shitload of places you get your parts from shitload of vendors you can't just be buying parts from like everywhere or whatever you just gotta like make sure you read reviews and make sure you read up on a company itself or whatever save yourself a hassle in the long run or you ain't gotta worry about you being getting burnt out of parts or you got the your parts messed up or you can't get in contact with a company or whatever just always do your research so rock auto Rock Auto was cool. I like Rock Auto. I think the one thing I don't like about Rock Auto, if I just want to put that out there real quick, is the they y'all like like y'all the the UI on a like the interface on like the website. Like I don't like the layout. Like I don't like the layout. And then there's too many uh, drop menus. One drop menu after another. Well, maybe that's that first when you're looking for your ear and make a model or whatever. I don't like that part. Too many drop menus. Whatever. But then, it actually, yeah, like I said, there are a lot of drop menus. They ain't drop menus on partsgeek.com, and I'm not trying to make a comparison, but I just stated uh, like two minutes ago that the parts catalog is easy to navigate. Rock Auto, I think somebody who really ain't savvy, somebody who really don't know about cars like that and they trying to order parts, Hey, they could probably mess up, definitely. But then again, it all comes down to if you was that student when you was in school and you was reading. That means throughout life you shouldn't have a problem with reading, right? But a lot of people don't be reading. But you, you, if you don't read, you can mess up. If you read, you should be good. I'm just saying. But overall, I mean, I ordered a part from there before. Uh, got the part. I ordered it like two, three. I ordered it like three almost four days ago now and i got the part already i ordered it on sunday and i got the part yesterday on thursday and my boy uh wrench and dre he used rock auto i got a couple other people that use rock auto a lot of people use rock auto ain't nothing wrong with rock auto rock auto is just it's real some little parts geek so if, if you would ask me i'll put them two at the like the same spot but like rock auto get three because i like parts geek better because i always order more parts on parts geek so that's all I got to say about Rock Auto. And Rock Auto, they can be trusted. They got a good name. Who don't know about Rock Auto? I'm just saying. You late in the game if you don't know. I'm just saying. This is one is this particular for like, like my car, or it could be for like anything like European or like German cars or whatever. So ECS Tuning. I think that's what it is, right? ECSTuning.com. I get, I've been getting parts from my car lately parts are cheap it ain't even matter if it's like discounted like the parts are already at like a fair price or whatever so i mean yeah they do deals all the time yeah they do like a lot of discounts but you really can't you really can't beat their prices not even with a baseball bet i'm just saying so i getting parts from there um they heavy on german be like mini cooper bmw i think mercedes i'm not sure no, not like a mercedes dude but i believe it's German, right? Porsche, Audi, Volkswagen. Yeah, like a lot of. <clears throat> it, it, it's a lot of, and not only with ECS, their parts catalog is real extensive, to the point where you know, 
they can get regular OEM brands sometimes, or not a case, but they got like their own brands, and probably parts that they, other brands that they put their name on it, or whatever. It, just what it is. You can get the license for it. That's true. Whatever. But they pretty much, they got other, other brands with that, with that they sell, so you really can't go wrong with like when you want to choose parts. Do you either want to get Volkswagen or Audi OEM, or you just want to go get the ECS, the in house brand? You could do that or whatever. Or they got other brands you could use and stuff. It's they got like it heavy on like brands and like vendors and where they like get their parts from. Um, I, and I, one thing I like about them, like I said, I'm a Pennsylvania resident, they stationed over in like Ohio. I don't know where in Ohio exactly, but from Ohio, and that's a state away from me. I get my parts in a couple of days, two days tops, depending on what I get, and if it's in stock, that's easy for me. That's one, two, three. Easy as tuning. I like them. You got a German car? Check them out. Start ordering all your parts. They got like performance parts, in. but that's not like the only website you could, if you're dealing with German cars, that you could get. There's plenty others out there, but ECS seemed to be. Somebody referred me to ECS, and I began parts from it. Every since, you really can't go wrong with ECS. The site is easy to navigate, make you an account, save your car preference, so that when you when you click on or whatever, just click what you had saved, and start looking up for whatever parts you need, and then to come up, make sure it fit. You Gucci. Another one I like to use is. And don't be like bashing, but I know you and your grandma and your grandpa probably use this, and your mom and your sister and your uncle and your nephews and nieces and your cousins. And, and your whole damn family probably use this Amazon. You can't go wrong with Amazon. I mean, Amazon got like a lot of off brands that you never really heard of before, but I, I once I said before, check out the reviews. Make sure it got nice stars, reviews, or whatever. Read the reviews. People like when people pissed off, that's one thing they like to do. Leave a review from a bad experience, right? Right? That's why if I got something bad and I ain't like it, and it was a bad experience, or if I had an issue, I'm writing a review. It's the easiest way to get the company's attention. That's just how I feel about it. And they can resolve it. That's up to them. It's either they want their name bash or they gonna resolve the situation. But either way, leave a review. Check the review. You got a problem? Contact the company. Um, got to ask some questions. That's up to you if you want to do it. Um, but I always go with watch the seller on Amazon. See how he done as far as in his history or his rating or check out his store. What does he sell? Check out his rating reviews. Check out all that or whatever. Um, check out how many people bought this or whatever similar item, whatever. It's all type of ways you can navigate and find like a trusted seller on Amazon. But you can get parts from Amazon. Uh, I got my downpipe, my three inch downpipe from Amazon. I don't know, it's from some warehouse over in Jersey. I got that joint, it was on Prime, I got that joint the next day. I paid like $65, $68 for my downpipe. I lied to you now, nah, I could've went on eBay and the shipping could've took longer or it could've cost more. It was stainless steel and then it looked at good quality to me. $68? I could throw $68 out the window twice a week if I wanted to. I'm just saying, I probably burn more than money on that, on myself personally, on you know stuff I do and you know my lifestyle whatever I'm just saying I just can't, can't go wrong you can get a bundle susp suspension kit a bundle kit with the inner and outer tie rods lower upper control arms you can get the whole strut assembly coil uh, the, the the complete strut ready to go what else you can get bushings or suede links all in one big package I get people all the time who call me you know, the job said, yo, Leek, I got all these parts. I need brakes put on. I got the parts already. They got uh, the brake and rotor for the front and rear combo kit off Amazon. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Just check the company. Make sure they thorough. Make sure they legit. Make sure they right. Make sure they Gucci. Make sure they on point. Make sure they right with it.
they not right with it, don't be buying parts from them. You, you just you be asked out. And check your warranty. Check your warranty. Make sure you get something decent, like a, a limited lifetime, a whole lifetime, a year warranty, 24, uh, two-year warranty. It's up to you. You pick. But Amazon got like, if anything, I think Amazon probably gonna be like the most biggest one on parts. But they will be like the last ones on my list. If, if I know something, I get it super cheap and I don't care what brand, I'm definitely going on them. That's like my last resort I'm going on Amazon. Me, yeah, AutoZone, if I can't get it, then I'm going. How I gave it to you on order is definitely how I, I go, you know, look at my parts. Now I could go to other parts, places around my way that I like, churches, auto parts. A lot of people don't know about them, but they over down in, um, Delaware County area or whatever and I, I like them a lot of people don't like them pet boys don't order parts pet boys fans auto parts really don't sometimes I do sometimes I don't but you, you just watch the vendors on there where they you know the brands and stuff or whatever um it's other so many like independent like parts stores or whatever dealerships sometimes I get parts on the dealership I bought I've ordered Volkswagen parts before but I order a any other brands I had or like Chevy or something like that. I ordered a regular OEM parts before from the dealership. It all depends on the cost and how much I can get it for, whatever. I, mean, I just said the same thing twice, but yeah, it all depends on how much I can get it for, what the part is. If I know I can get it cheap or if nobody else got it, then I gotta get it from the dealership and that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, listen, I just gave it to you, my five auto repair stores or whatever. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see y'all in the next video, whenever that is, right? I'll